Hey, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. We are back with more Freak Apocalypse, and we just made it into Coop's room. A whole lot of stuff. This bursting pimple got me fifth place in the high school volcano building contest. All right. It's my hero, Psionic Steve. He uses his mind powers to save people. I really admire that. This poster used to be my father's. All right. I once had some fish in here, but they ran away. Oh. A memorial for where my hamster used to live. These are sacred grounds. You are a depressing kid. Some of the workout clothes I wear when I exercise. Yeah, they're collecting dust. Chairs, filmed in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> the pen in here is out of ink. Get this garbage out of my face. It's a pen. Perfect for forging signatures. It's a pen. Perfect for forging signatures. My boombox for blasting sweet, dope-ass tunes. I bought this romantic mix for whenever I bring a lady over. It's still unopened and fresh in the package. <sighs> trash. Look at all that trash. All right. Science. Why? How? This textbook asks a lot of important questions, but fuck me if I know the answers. These socks may look stiff, but I assure you, they're just overstarched. Uh, I swear. <laughs> yeah. This is my book report on Cormac McCarthy's The Road, a depressing book about the apocalypse, but it's pretty unrealistic. Uh -huh. Ken's failing report cards from last year. I stole them as a memento. He says he failed on purpose to be prom king again, but I call bullshit. Take them with you. I prefer to keep them here where they're safe. Okay. That's a comic book, not a porno mag. Uh, seriously. That's my diary. Since you looked at it, I'll have to kill you. Nope. Those things are packed tight. If I were to open those cabinets, I'd die in the landslide. Alright. Tater I made this potato clock in school. They thought it was a bomb and the police showed up. I befriended the bomb-diffusing robot, though. I felt popular that day. You are really sad, man. That's another science project. I'm dissolving a tooth in there to show how bad soda is for your teeth. Chet was nice enough to knock my tooth out for me. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Holy crap! This has to be the most absurdly long printer cable in history. Looks like it goes all the way up to the attic. Yep. Little bathroom. I actually don't think there's anything to do or get in here, except this. Just so you know, you can purchase the one million dollar DLC to remove the black censorship bar from this costume and uh, see what I'm packing down there. I don't really want to use the naked skin, but uh, it's good to have it. Grandma takes these out when she goes to sleep and when her dates come over. Uh. My mouth inventory is already full. I wouldn't want to mess with Grandma's special system of organizing these pills. Pillows that don't muffle Grandma's coitus moans nearly well enough. It's a yarn skein, which is a fancy way of saying a ball of yarn. Nope, but maybe I'll take up knitting as part of my San Angeles rehabilitation program when I'm thawed out in the year 2032. I don't have any back problems yet, but I am carrying around a lot of shame. Well, at least I can use this to reach stuff in high places since I'm such a tiny turd. Yoink. I don't have any back problems yet, but I am carrying around a lot yeah, of shame. Yeah, you repeated that. Don't get so excited. It's a potted plant, not a pot plant. That's Grandma's closet, where she keeps her liberator ramp. Ugh. No way! I have enough nightmares about what Grandma does in the bedroom as it is. No need to see what kinky crap she keeps in the closet. Some things you just can't burn from your memory. Well said. Well said, Coop. Coop. Coop loses 10 confidence. 
There we go. I better go talk to Grandma first to see what she needs oh. help with. Better go talk to Grandma first. Okay. I was just trying to get stuff done in advance. Hey there, Coop. I completed my senior power workout routine. Uh, great. As long as I don't have to hear you having loud sex in the house again. My, uh, hearing aid ran out of batteries. I thought I was being quiet last time. I'm gonna go now. Hold on, mister. Your grandmother needs some help before you go. How can I help, Grandma? There's something wrong with the printer. I pressed print over and over, but I can't seem to get it to work. It's probably just out of ink. I'll take a look at it for you. There's my little superhero. Come find me when you get it working, as I'll need your help with one more thing. Oh, come on. Two chores? What about my active social life? Come on, Coop. Don't bullshit a bullshitter. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'd better get started. Thanks, honey. By the way, Bernie's coming by at nine tonight, so don't come around unless you're into hearing your grandmother reach a new plane of sexual nirvana. One second. My brain is repressing this conversation from my memory. And blocked out. What do you need, Grandma? Fix the printer. Got it. Thanks for helping, my little pile of coop. Yeah. Here's an idea. How about we soundproof the walls? I guess I'd consider getting some soundproofing for the bedroom walls. My future therapist thanks you. Those late night visits you have with Bernie are scarring me for life. Hey! Those thin walls go both ways, Buster! I'm sick of you bringing down the mood with your constant sobbing! Yeah, uh, it might be best if I meet that future therapist soon. Did you pick up any good snacks? I sure did! All the prune swirl you can handle! Blech. Ugh, that doesn't really suit my needs as a radical teenager. I gotta have something on the go, preferably extreme. I also got some fruity roll-ups. Now that's more like it. Just try not to eat them all. I'm planning on fashioning them into an edible thong. And I've lost my appetite. <laughs> Puritan. You need help. I hope it's not what I think it is. Excuse me? I told you already, Grandma. I'm done helping you cheat at bingo. Coop, it's not about that. We took a lot of prizes from a lot of innocent people, Grandma. I told you I was out of the game, and I'm staying out. The only people we hurt were the fat cats at Big Bingo, damn it! Anyway, that isn't what I need help with. I have some chores for you. Oh, sorry. Although, I hear they're giving out iPads now. I'll split the profits 60-40 your way. I said no, Grandma. Fine! Wimp. I gotta hey. run. Talk to you later. Feisty bird. All right, let's. All right, I'll mess around in the kitchen. This is the best thing since. Hmm. It is sliced bread. It's Grandma's rhubarb pie. I've also been told that's a euphemism, but I don't get it. Hey, fridge. You're so cool. I wish I could learn your secrets. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Oh look, one brightly lit up thing. I don't know how they roll fruit like that. It's one of God's many mysteries. I heard a rumor that the cool boys once used a fruit roll to patch up a hole in their broken bomb. Gotta love multi-purpose artificial food products. Dude, fruit leather's been a thing for quite a while. Fruity rolls are delicious and useful. Also, I forgot to do the randomized thing I've been doing. I wear what I get, except I don't bother with the... I always remove the facial we wiener. Alright. What's in the news today? Hmm. Netherton High School's new gymnasium, bomb shelter open for tourism, pain boss sales at record high, and arsonist escapes in a hot air balloon. Nothing very interesting. Well, that last one sounded weird, at least. It's the cookie jar, chock full of stale cookies. Stale cookies, old oh boy. Those cookies are older than I am. I couldn't eat them if I oh. tried. Bummer. Dang, it's nothing but a bunch of doilies. Doilies? The only thing I'd be able to cook is the entire house. Ah, uh, an 
apron. Look out, world. Get ready to kiss the coop. Here we go. I knew there was something in one of these. All right. It's the fishbowl for our pet fish, Glurp. He likes hiding in that little treasure chest. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Here, fish, 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 fishy. Sesame Street, by the way. That was what that was from. All right, now let's do the printer. Grandma's moved up from her old dot matrix printer. Work, damn you! Work! It has plenty of paper, and the ink cartridges look fine. I wonder what's wrong with it. Oh, time to follow that un unusually long printer cord we saw earlier. What the hell is the deal with this, anyway? It seems so unnecessary. Look at me, opening the attic door. I'm a big boy now. Mm, no, you're not a big boy. That's why you had to use the cane. I sprained my ankles when I tried on my first pair of skis. And I don't mean on the slopes. I mean I literally fell over and sprained my ankle the second I put them on. Yeah. These mouse traps have never caught any mice. Man, I used to love bouncing around on this springy pony toy until I grew up. Last month. Last month. It's just an old filing cabinet filled with boring financial papers and medical records. It's my old tricycle. I remember running into a car on this thing. Knocked out my front teeth and everything. That was a fun day. Ah, my childhood crib. The only memory I have of this is the babysitter making me lay underneath it while slowly filling it with bricks until I broke down and told her where Grandma kept all her precious jewelry. Sorry I couldn't hold past four bricks, Grandma. Aww. If only I had this to get into the goddamn attic in the first place. It's my old teddy bear. Not to be confused with old Ted bear. Yeah, well, Ted is the most common name for a bear These are some of those game, lame fireworks media. that grow into a snake. I'll take them. Warning! These fireworks release an absurd amount of smoke. Fireworks may cause mild entertainment and or cancer. For outdoor use only. Suitable for ages 7 and under. Discard after October 1956. Jeez! These sound fun. There's the problem. Looks like some rats chewed through the cable. Also, why the hell does the printer cable run all the way through the attic? Must be another installation business ripping off Grandma. Now to go find something to patch this cable with. So to patch the cable with, you got it. Extreme fruit flavor. I can't believe that worked. Well, it's a temporary fix till the rats find it. Eh, good enough. I'll go tell Grandma the good news. A box of plushies. They creep me out. Too lifelike. Too lifelike. Playing with these? In the attic? Too creepy for me. More like cyan nerd and crappiness, am I right? Got him. Self-depreciation. This is insulation, and definitely not cotton candy that makes you miss two weeks of school because your tongue's so itchy. Well, yeah, there's little glass fragments in it. It's our Christmas tree. We've never had a real one, and I think the old one contains traces of lead. It's just a box of old clothes. Okay. What, no horrible tragic memory attached to the clothes to go into? Look at that sweet beard. That is a sweet beard. Wait, why does Grandma have a photo of a blind guy who's unzipping his pants hanging on her wall? Don't want to know. Grandma said it would be a good idea to take this photo in case I went missing or the paper needed something for my obituary. Aw. Your life sucks so hard, Coop. This is Grandma's coveted Shut Up Award. She won this during a debate with an Echo. I'm not sure if that... This is Grandma's coveted Shut Up Award. She won this during a debate with an Echo. Okay, I did. Right, that's my room. I'm gonna go down and tell Grandma I fixed the printer. Like, hey lady, I fixed it. Oh, I guess you can tell because the printer. I got your printer working, Grandma. What is a TV hey, advertising? It looks like a book in now a phone. my gardening problem. You need me to water your flowers? It's swarming with wasps. I need you to get rid of their nest on the roof. Wasps? Why me? <coughs> I can't climb to the attic 
anymore. These old legs just aren't what they used to be. Okay, but shouldn't we get an exterminator for this? Wasps are above my pay grade. Coop, you're growing up so fast. It won't be long until my little man graduates and leaves this old home forever. You'll be moving and shaking as your own man out there, and I'll finally have this place all to myself. Well, me and Bernie, that is. We'll be testing if these old walls can stand up to my uninhibited, quivering, earth-shattering orgasm. Wasps. We're talking about wasps here, Grandma. But until then, I don't need an exterminator since you're such a good little helper. My doctor said I'm not supposed to get stung to death by wasps. Oh, Coop, we both know this family can't afford health insurance. Okay, but I'm still concerned about getting stung by thousands of wasps. You know, when your grandfather was still alive, he'd puff a cloud of cigar smoke on them and watch them drop like flies. Hmm, smoking them out could work. Do you still have cigars? Sorry, none. I quit smoking cigars when I started vaping. I don't want to. I don't want to. There you go, acting up again. What kind of man leaves his little old granny alone in her garden to get attacked by wasps? I don't know. What kind of granny leads her grandson into a deadly wasp ambush? <sighs> you know, Coop, when your parents decided to drop you off at an orphanage, I wasn't sure it was for the best. Wait, what? And when I found out they changed their mind and decided to keep you, I was overjoyed. My parents tried to dump me? But when they turned the car around and lost their lives in that horrible accident on the way home, I lost my daughter, you lost your parents. Ever since I changed my mind and picked you back up from the orphanage, all we've had left is each other. We need to look out for each other. I... I didn't know some of that. I'm glad I have you, Grandma. I'm glad I have you too, Coop. And I'm thankful your parents kept you safely in the trunk, out of harm's way. Seriously? Okay, that's enough details. I'll get the wasps. Then some therapy. How am I even supposed to reach the nest? You should be able to reach the nest from the window in the attic. The attic again? Oh, I hate going up there. You know how I feel about spiders and wasps. And attics. I guess it's wasp time. It was nice knowing you. Thanks, dearie. Let me know when you've killed the bastards. Okay, what are they selling? Are you looking for adventure? It yes. looks like I looked at it, but it won't let me. Of all the TV sets, I'm pretty sure this one doesn't have voice recognition controls. All right. At least they don't make me do the uh, hook the attic every time. I have played games where you have to, you know, get a tool to reach the attic sh door, and then they make you do that every time. Hello. Can you guys like fuck off? What if I ask you nicely? Please fuck off. It's the Netherton Water Tower, a proud monument to our stupid little town. Go down here. Ooh, gardening. Ooh, oven They're mitts. They're oven mitts for touching all the hot stuff. Oven mitts. Independent thinker. See the label reads, that one. oven mitts for protecting your little bitch hands. Who writes these things? All right. Now let's take these extra smoky fireworks, put them in the barbecue. I don't have a way to make fire, do I? Damn. There's a way to make fire, and I do not remember how to get. Wait, there's a book of matches somewhere. Another drawer with useless junk. Dang, it's not. That's TV guy. It's a little side table with a how to watch TV booklet. 
Oh, haven't been in here yet. That's right. Yeah, book of matches. Boom. Problem solved. Cool, a book of Oops. matches. Book of matches gonna find something to find fire, find... preferably not the house. Some of Grandma's many pill bottles. Empty pill bottles? Thanks, but I don't need any medications for my heart, dementia, or libido. Grandma sometimes confuses these buttermints with her medications, which explains a lot. Gross. They're covered in dust. Ew. All right. I can't remember if there's anything I need from the garage. That's Grandma's fine china cabinet. Expensive stuff in there. Wouldn't hurt to go look in the garage, I guess. Grandma bought me this White Knight superhero doll because when I said superhero, she thought I said super racist. That's not even funny. What a sad looking teddy bear. It's been out here a while, probably filled with spiders. Ugh. You spider-phobic, buddy. It's a CPR basics manual. All it says is, never bring a CPR dummy back to life. I'll leave this here with Samantha, in case she needs to know how to give CPR. It's a CPR dummy. This is where I practice kissing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't think I need to be here till later. Ooh, free hat, free hat, free hat. And get hat, dust all over hat. my cool outfit? No, no way. The hat, dude. Hat buddy, it's the new cranium cuddling companion. Here we go. Boom. It's a rolled up tarp, probably used for converting this garage into a kill room. You're a very cynical young man, boy. Yeah, it's a pretty killer bike. Brittany already popped both of its tires, so it's not very fast at the moment. Man, everybody treats you like crap. I really should keep these comics in my room, instead of letting the bugs in here eat them. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Matches. in the smoke, my waspy little friends. Sleep! Sleep forever! Wow, I could be a supervillain. Or just a big ham. Oh, there we go. Took multiple clicks to get him to go to the ladder. Those wasps look mean and nasty. I can't stand bugs. Ooh. Rut row. I'm dead. Oh, never mind. Somebody else is dead. Not me. <laughs> That'll surely work. Is that a Scooby Doo reference? Yeah, you think? I hope you kept that thumb of yours green, because your garden is now 100% wasp free. That's wonderful news! Time to prep and plant some petunia pals! Great! So I'm free to obsessively look, touch, and talk at the rest of the town now? You sure are! Right after you deliver these photos I printed. Aw, oh, man. Okay, fine. Thanks, Cooper. Just stop by the Golden Haze Retirement Home and leave them with Bernie for... personal use. Personal <laughs> use? Gross. Bernie's easy to spot. Just look for a ravenous sexual stallion and a bulge you can't take your eyes off of. Say no more, Grandma. For the love of God, say no more. Have a good day, dearie. Okay, guess I gotta head over to the Golden Haze Retirement Home now. 
It's the second saddest place in town. The first being my heart. Oh, Coop, you are a downer. A record player. Grandma's old enough for all of her old lame stuff to become cool again. I hate these stupid flamingos. Grandma thought they'd make me feel better after the dog died. The gnomes. I hate these gnomes and every other gnome. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and see about calling it here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, or subscribe. Or not. I'm not the boss of you. Good night.